Good morning traders, okay, if you're looking at the headlines on the session for the smoking gun for this equity market rally, you can look at you know, comments from Joe Biden, from Fed member Barking, from Loretta Mester, looking at some of the economic data, which was actually a little bit poorer than expected, uh, and argue that this market could be lower or it could be higher. Uh, what, what matters is the market's higher, and that's where we've tried to cut our craft as traders on the session. Uh, what matters here is that the, the tape of the S&P is, is stronger, uh, and we put this down purely to a bear market rally. This is a short squeeze in my opinion. This is a position readjustment coming through. I'd imagine that there would probably be some market makers, uh, yeah, debt options market makers, dealers who were sitting on some, some large delta hedges last week and they'd like to cover back some of those, those short futures positions. You know, have CTAs look to cover in this market? You know, buy all accounts, the, uh, the levels that uh, you know, they need to trigger those short uh, positions uh, and cover those is, is a little bit higher than where we are at the moment. But ultimately, this is, this is a market that was shot to pieces in terms of sentiment and we've rallied. So what do we like? What do we like about this session? Well, we're seeing you know, the take of the S&P futures is obviously very positive indeed. Um, you know, you saw a strong gap up in the cash market when that reopened. Um, I think there's potential, depending on how the market treats uh, Powell's testimony in the se session ahead against the Senate, that we could push up to 38.95. That's the sort of top level that we're looking for at the moment, which is the June uh, 10th sort of gap low that we saw there. You know, a break of that level, which is not my base case, and we potentially, on an open-minded situation, push up to the 50-day moving average, which is at 4,100. So be open-minded to that, but I think that's a bit of a stretch. We like the breadth on the day. 88% of stocks were higher, led higher by energy, which had a fantastic gain. Uh, you saw discretionary working well, led by, by Tesla and, and also by Amazon as well. So breadth was good, volume was okay. We'd like to see a little bit more, but it was kind of in line with the 15 day moving average. Uh, high yield credit spreads came down about 12 basis points. Again, I probably would like that about 15 basis points. And we've seen no real moves in the VIX as well. We'd like to see the VIX down two or three vols in the session as well. And a weaker US dollar going to the FX moves. We've seen some buying in Noki, CAD and Aussie, but it's not been prolific. I'd like to have seen a bit of a weaker US dollar playing through as well. But I want my cake and eat it. Um, I don't trust this bear market rally that we've been seeing. You know, we've seen a bit of a, bull, a bear steepener coming through in, in, in treasuries. But again, you know, there's a lot to like, but there's also a lot to dislike. We're going to watch power in the session ahead and Asia should fire up.